All right, how's everybody doing on this uh, Saturday afternoon? <clears throat> so I'm looking at my video here that I did on uh, Open RGB, and somebody commented on this video asking about why his uh, he couldn't control the RGB on his MSI 3080 Supreme, and he has it on an MSI X570 Edge mainboard. So <clears throat> I know MSI has multiple versions of the Dragon Center software. I'm assuming if he has the right one, it would definitely have support for, uh, that's probably a very expensive video card. That's gotta be a super expensive video card, the MSI 3080 Supreme. But yeah, to, for someone to buy um, a high-end card like that and then have it on the high-end motherboard, uh, to not have that support in the software didn't make any sense. So I'm assuming he either had the wrong version or uh, MSI made a mistake, like they have many different versions. So just out of curiosity, I went to their page and I looked at it for his motherboard. I wanted to see what kind of, uh, <clears throat> what version of Dragon Center they were offering. And I came across that they're replacing Dragon Center. Um, I just found this out just now. I did not know about this. So this is the landing page for my motherboard. This is, of course, not an X570 like the guy who left the comment. This is B450, but it's across all of MSI's products. They're changing the, uh, they're getting rid of uh, Dragon Center in place of MSI Center. So let's read right here. It says, MSI recommends all users to upgrade from MSI Dragon Center to MSI Center for better user experience. No, MSI Dragon Center and MSI Center cannot be installed at the same time. If you prefer to install MSI Dragon Center, please go to this link. Now, <laughs> I advise not going into that link. Now look at this. Look at the date on this. This is May 17th. So this is pretty new. And I'm, you know, I'm a little few days behind and stuff. But a lot of people have been begging for Dragon Center to go away because it sucks and it installs stuff that you don't want it to install. And I briefly looked at this video, which I'm going to share with you, and I'll put a link to it in the description. But this has the potential to be better. But MSI screws a lot of things up. But anyway, like I said, this is the link if you want to use Dragon Center. But if you know with old versions of Mystic like that that are uh, autonomous from Dragon Center, it's not included with Dragon Center, they stop supporting new hardware. So whether it's the standalone Mystic Lite or the old versions of Dragon Center, I advise you to move on from them because MSI, they do a bad enough job supporting their new software. So you got to let the old software go. So I'm eventually going to probably, uh, I don't know why I hate, messing with MSI's new software suites, but I'm probably going to dump Dragon Center and test out this MSI Center thing going forward. I mean, I have everything set up and it works with my, I have old hardware and stuff, but especially for guys who's like the guy who left a comment in my video who got new hardware, he's going to want to use this instead of Dragon Center. But me, to be up with the times, I'm probably going to do the same thing. I'll probably dump Dragon Center. You know, maybe I'll back up my computer before I do. <laughs> but I'll get the uh, MSI Center and I'll try it out. So let's look at the video. Um, look at this. This video for MSI Center is... I'm really behind. This is from last month. So I guess it was... According to this, the release date is just a couple of days ago. So this was on YouTube. I never caught it. Uh, I might have heard about it and forgot about it. But anyway, this is the replacement for Dragon Center. I'm going to... Look at it real quick. Let's tell you what I think. So they're showing you here, and I'm, so, so you could watch this without me interrupting. They're showing you here, you know, this this guy's looking for his uh, his Intel Z590 Tomahawk Wi-Fi board. But the version of MSI Center is going to probably be, I don't think they're going to have an AMD or Intel specific one. So while they're telling you to look for your specific board, I'm sure the software covers all the hardware. It's going to be one, it's going to be one link. To one download for MSI Center, I'm pretty sure. And uh, what was it on? Uh, for me, it was version 1.020, so 120. 
I'm assuming that's going to be that's going to work across the board for everybody. I mean, it, it better have support for everybody. Look how big it is. It's almost 400 megabytes. But anyway, back to the video. All right. So there, that's a little bit of an older version. So it's already been changed since then. So that's 114, and we're up to 120 now. So at least they're supporting it. Like I said. Dragon Send, they're in a standalone Mystic Light. They probably don't care. They're not making any updates to that or tweaks or anything. So, See, now this is nice. If they're going to let you have a little granular <clears throat> control of what you install, that's what, exactly what people were looking for. And this doesn't look like, unless I'm mistaken, I got to try it myself. It makes me more happy that this doesn't look like it's one of those universal window platform apps. And it doesn't look like UWP. I don't like those. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, it looks like you can install the uh parts that you want which for, for me i would never install land manager true color gaming mode creator mode user scenario uh game i'd probably only use mystic light so from what i see so far mystic light and whatever allows you to control uh override fan curves and stuff so let me continue speed up no that's not the fan thing That first one they installed was for the fans. That would be one I'd go to. Yeah, so if you want to watch that without hearing my stupid ass talking over it, I'll put a link to that in the description. But everyone's been complaining about Dragon Center and how bad it is for a long time. Careful what you wish for. I don't know if MSI Center is going to be worse or better, but it looks like it has the potential to be better. So that's a good thing. Hopefully the guy who uh, commented on the video, hopefully he can give MSI Center a try. And he'll be able to control the RGB on his uh, very expensive 3080 Supreme card. And everybody will be happy. So, yeah, I'll give that a try when I get around to it. But <clears throat> one thing at a time. Uh, thanks for watching. Everybody enjoy your Saturday.